Hey guys, I just recorded a commentary of Giant Flaming Zombie Sharks from Outer Space 2. If you want to see my thoughts on a really shitty film I made in high school, go ahead and check it out on my channel or just click the link in the description. Now on with the podcast! Okay, how do I, how do I hit stop? Hey, Merry Christmas, bitches. It's snowing where we live. For Hell some yeah. reason, it's April seventeenth, the time they're recording this, and it's fucking snowing outside. Why? Global warming. Gotta love it. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're cooling. Well, anyway, welcome back everybody to the uh, Delgo Fan Club podcast. Joining me today, Brian. I am here again with Alex and Andrew. Hello. Hey. And today we have a special guest that doesn't have a YouTube channel or isn't known to be in any of my videos whatsoever. It's my friend Emily. Hi, Emily. Hello. How's it going? Hello. I guess you have done something. You've done the, you've done Destin together. I did, like, mediocre work. I think Alex did more work in that than I did. No, wait, Alex. Which, which Alex are we talking? Feliciano. Yeah. I know five Alex. How many Alexes are you talking about? I, listen, one of these days. Wait, no, Andrew. I'm sorry. I don't know you guys. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days, I need to have a podcast with, like, all the Alex's I know. We will. Just we to will. air out my grievances. No, Emily, you did a lot of work for Dustin together when we did that. Were you in you the did film? The, you did the... No. <laughs> okay. Because I remember there were some extras, and I was wondering if you were one of them. No, thank you, though. <laughs> if anybody remembers Dustin together, that was the film that, I think it was like two years ago? Yeah, it's it like, was like, this... I'm shy. And now there's a shy meme. See, we knew it. We knew. Oh yeah, we we, knew we predicted that. Going a a hundred percent, and we we went and predicted that. But uh, anyway, if anybody remembers that, I'm gonna link that below. It's not really a popular video, but point is, Emily and I were project partners on that, and that was that. Mm. Th- it turned out okay. I thought it was pretty good in comparison to some others, but I won't. I mean, it's it's better than um. What's the fuck? I didn't like the soundtrack, though. You're the one that composed (laughs) the soundtrack. Or are you referring to the fact that the, uh, that the boom doesn't match up or whatever? Oh, I guess, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot about that. Like, sold out by everybody. Well. Well, anyway, it is better in comparison to, uh, the mundane adventures of the Invisible Man. Definitely. I thought that was still good. My magnum yeah. opus, which will never be released. <laughs> exactly. But anyway, I haven't even seen it. No. I've showed it to you. Whatever. I've seen shots of it, but no, I have not it's, seen it's all ass, of it. It's ass, all right? <laughs> it's, it's what I, I like to call it shot reverse shot the movie, but mm-hmm. whatever. But anyway, uh, Emily, thank you for joining us on this uh, s- stupid fucking show. Uh, how, are you, how have you been during quarantine and all that? My mental health has declined drastically. I don't change my clothes. That's it. Oh, yep. cool. Same. Casual yeah. stuff. Now, Alex and Andrew told me before we started that I needed Fuck. to... God dang it, Alex! This is going <laughs> to be a problem the entire time! It's not! Don't worry about it. Just beep it. Well, I'm going to keep it in, because you do realize that now that you're recording in your basement, I'm going to okay, have to... For like... those who don't know... Yes, I'm in the basement, and the I'm... washing dryer machine is like ten feet away from me, and they are loud as hell. That's a problem. When whenever we're like recording at your house, is like they... I know the problem is whenever you come over, we're doing laundry. <laughs> yeah, it's it's always terrible timing. Uh, yeah. But anyway, Alex and Andrew told me beforehand that I actually need to come up with some questions beforehand, and you know what? It, it, starting in last episode, I do I did have some questions. So I'm going to ask Emily the same question that I'm going to ask every one of my guests now. But unfortunately, I didn't have time to change it. So it's going to be awkward because she's a girl. Anyway, Emily, how big yo dick? Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, All right. I asked Connor the same question last time. <laughs> it's a hard question. Oh, it's, ah, it's, ah. Anyway. But Emily, uh, what have you been up to in quarantine? Have you seen any new movies or TV shows or played any new video games or anything? Um, here's the thing. I'm not really much of a gamer, but like I got Animal Crossing Pocket Camp on my phone. And like oh. I love it. I love it so much. I've never been like, I love a mobile game, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but like 
Animal Crossing is just so wholesome <laughs> and nice. And, like, oh, yeah. not to be like, I'm a girl and I like Animal Crossing. Because anyone can play Animal Crossing. Mm. No, I'm playing Animal could, Crossing. Exactly. You can like Sonic. You could like Modern Warfare. You can like uh, Left 4 Dead. I like how so- you can, Sonic like, is yeah, right next Sonic to Modern Warfare and uh, <laughs> Left 4 Dead. I was just trying to think of a plethora, and I could only think of, like, the games my brother plays. So, like, okay. Minecraft. You could, like, Minecraft. Yeah. yeah, Minecraft. Brian Gang doesn't play Minecraft. <gasps> I, I'm buying you Minecraft. Minecraft I don't the like Minecraft. Game. That's treason. Listen, okay, listen. <laughs> it's treason. <laughs> it's treason, then. I'm pretty sure <laughs> <like> <laughs> Spins in circles indefinitely. Well, I don't know. I just never got into Minecraft. I don't know. You will. Yeah, you will eventually. I've played a bunch of it, like, when I... Well, years ago, I got it for, like... I think I got it for, like, uh, mobile. I got the mobile yeah, version of it. Yeah, it sucks on mobile. Well, yeah, it sucks yeah. on mobile. And I I don't know. I've played a bit of it just on consoles. I think I've... Like, I used to go over to Connor's house a bunch and play it. And then one time he trolled me. He was. I was like, hey... I think I went up to, like, a zombie. I was like, hey, is that guy good? And he's like, oh, yeah, he's completely fine. And then it attacked me and killed me. And now my faith in that game is forever ruined. Wow. That's rough. Yeah, but I don't know. I've, I've never really gotten into Minecraft. I'm not a... That's like preteen gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 100%. No, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I, I've missed the boat. It's like Game of Thrones, where it's like... I... That's okay. Oh, that reminds me. I should watch Game of Thrones now. I I watched the Got first the few episodes of them. It's okay. I mean, I now I now like the what was it? The ninth season was the last one. <laughs> Remember? I, I just know, know how it ends, but I, I know the last season everything. is like really bad apparently. So I don't yes, really yes, want to watch the show if like the finale is just gonna be really the, terrible. In my opinion, the finale, I feel like they just pushed it out the door really fast, so they can just. Well, they also Dude. ran out of material from the books, so they couldn't really... They ran out of materials, like, halfway through, like, season five. Oh, really? Five. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They yeah, just they freaking... made shit up? Yeah, exactly. They tried uh, talking to the author, but he, like, doesn't give them any information. Oh, I think it was also... I think I remember, like, the creators of it wanted to hurry it along because they were going to work on a Star Wars show. Yeah. But then the Star Wars people were like, uh, no, that was really bad. We're not letting you Yeah, yeah. work exactly. on a Star Wars show. Which, I'm glad that was cancelled. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it got replaced by Mandalorian, so... The Mandalorian is top-notch, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I've seen good. the episodes. I love it. Ten out of ten. Ten, yeah. But, Emily, uh, I know you like movies and TV shows and stuff, but... No, obviously more yeah. than video games. But have you seen any of those? Any new ones? Um, honestly, I've just been rewatching Community. Which, like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll swear every time it happens. Sorry, go ahead. I'm no, sorry, it's all sorry. good. I was like, who lives in an apartment? <laughs> She's getting called. Yeah, I've been just rewatching Community, which is like arguably better than The Office and Parks and Rec. Excuse me. Ooh. Yeah. If you like, well, if you like Rick and Morty, Dan Harmon makes the show. It's really good. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, heard I thought that. you were about should... to say that like The Office is like Rick and Morty. Because it's just basic. No, it's not no. like Rick and Morty. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know. They're pretty similar. No, the... I've been watching Rick and Morty so long, you... I thought it was the same show. <laughs> They're actually, they made a new show, actually. It's going to yeah, be up that, on Hulu. Is that up yet? The no, new... I don't think so. What is I'm that called? A bunch it's called ads. Solar Opposites or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks kind of cute, but like, I don't know. Well, it it's in the same cute. style of Rick and Morty, so it's like... Yeah. It's sci-fi, again, but... Yeah, and it's, like, the same humor. So it's basically just Rick and Morty, just for people that don't like Rick and Morty. It's for, it's for Rick and Morty, for people who had, need to wait for the other seasons to come out. Okay. Why don't they just make Rick and Morty season five? I don't know. Well, they I don't are. know. If I was making the in May. Si- if I was making the same show over and over for the rest of my life, I would probably... I think I would be pretty miserable. Oh, he drinks. Yeah. But you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, true, yeah, he has the voice for Rick. <laughs> Dude, listen, I, let me tell you, you have to drink if you're in the industry. That's a lesson plan that we've <laughs> That's learned. That's a necessity. Alex oh. and Andrew doesn't know this because they don't go to the same college that me and Emily do, but in our film school, they've taught us classes on, okay, if you want to be successful in the industry, you have to drink. <laughs> That's basically a requirement. Yeah, well, they're like, your best idea is a packet of you. cigarettes, it's due by Friday, it better be empty. 
I go, you got <laughs> it. <laughs> you got it, boss. Yeah, I've basically... Okay, so once again, I've, breaking my, I've broken my rule about the whole... Well, I'm going to watch three new movies a week. Come Again? on, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. I told you to watch all the Twilights. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> what? The Twilights. No. Watch the vamps. Come on. Watch them. Yeah, okay, but on, I Brian. will tell you this. I have I have played a new video game called Night Trap. Which, I saw. Which is sort of a movie. So Night Trap is actually this game that came out for the Sega CD and a bunch of like computer systems back in the day. And it's like a full motion video kind of thing where they uh they digitized all of these like all this film and put it into it and basically what happened what the game is is that you're this member of this special unit f- force it's called scat that is actually the title of the special oh, forces scat, unit. Man. it's scat it means literally shit it literally means shit but anyway basically you're a member of scat and you have to, uh, you have control over this house that has all these traps, and the house is being run by vampires. Ah, oh, shit, we're going back to Twilight already. <laughs> all right. Well, by the way, this See, you knew this it. Sh- you know you love Twilight. Oh boy, yeah. I'm just gonna turn into a fucking Twilight fan by the time that. What is there a term for Twilight fans? Like how like. No, you just. Are you like, a, like, how, like how Star or a Bell fan? Oh Jesus. <laughs> You mean Jacob? <laughs> or Jacob? I don't know the other one. They're both yeah. They're both competing <laughs> for Jacob. There's Edward one and two. Oh, of course. No, but um, no. Is there like a term for Twilight fans? Like how they're like well, truckies for Star Trek? I think it was just like it was just the like Team Edward or Team. James. Oh, like, okay. It was it was just like <laughs> fighting between who she should be with. She goes because that's all that matters. Like women, they all they need is like a man in their life. <laughs> oh my Sorry, God. I'll stop. <laughs> But anyway, back to Night Trap. So actually, the vampires in Night Trap do a lot of stupid shit. Where, like, they teleport and they, like, shoot lightning and throw <laughs> people out of windows. Fuck! God damn it, you and your stupid... Oh, don't worry about it, keep That's going. three. That's three. How <laughs> many? put t- it on the counter. How about... Alex, I have an idea. How about you take out the laundry? No. <laughs> it's still going on. <laughs> Okay, so so the plot of Night Trap is like really stupid. It's like, it's like these vampire parents have this elaborate setup where they have their daughter make friends with these other teenagers so that they can bring them over to their house. So they'll use this elaborate set of traps to trap them down into the basement so that they'll suck their blood and give it to these uh, half vampire, half human people called augers who also take blood by using these long, like these long, weird, elaborate traps or the, these like devices that suck blood or whatever. It's like, the plot is like so complex for like a kid's game. It's ridiculous. But anyway, the big thing about the game is that you're supposed to like watch over all these, uh, all these screens and like move between them and watch these creatures the augers break into the house and you have to trap them but like while you're doing that you're like one screen you're not going to be spending time on and that screen is like saying what the plot of the game is so it's like there's a complex plot going on and you're not going to know what it is your first playthrough i don't know interesting it, it, that seems like too much work for lore. Yeah, it's an interesting novelty, though. I like, because there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff with, like, the anniversary edition that I bought for the Switch. By the way, I think it's on sale now on the eShop for, like, 75% off, and I, like, used my Nintendo points, so I got, like, I think I spent, like, a dollar on the game. Huh. But, like, there are a lot of special features, like, they have a timeline and stuff like that, and um, production stills and all that. It's It's really cool, but it's, like, the game itself is just whack you know it's a really good game tell me that isn't like super troubling or like brain melting the sims oh yeah that's a good game that is a I good miss game the sims so much the sims yeah no the <laughs> sim- yeah, yeah, the sims. son of them you not desecrate sims can there be wait, a... which one sims wait, wait which or... sims here's the thing i started with sims 2 no sims that's right I... yeah. yeah i started with sims 2 um, and then I, like, started wasting all of my, like, birthday money and Christmas money on, like, Sims 3 expansion packs. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Which was like that first first time I ever had an addiction. <laughs> It's not an addiction, it's a hobby. <laughs> My coke addiction. It's just a hobby right now. Yeah, this is going on, this is getting off the rails. No, oh, yeah. What what happened to the films you were talking about, Brian? I don't know. I haven't uh, seen any movies. movies. We can you talk about seen video any games. Movies? All right, well. I, I've been busy. Well, I have also I mean, we're not allowed to go out to theaters, so. Well, yeah. I I I have seen some I've been scamming you stuff Netflix. just online, but yeah, I don't know. I got uh, Disney Plus for a free trial today. Ooh, how long will that last? So, just a week. I don't know. I wanted to see the new Clone Wars episode because they started doing <laughs> the Siege of Mandalore. Yeah. Was that what you were waiting for? Yeah. Well, I literally should have waited until the last episode, I guess. But I just Yeah, four to see more it. weeks. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Can I just say the intro to the to the new Clone Wars episode is so awesome. They have the classic Lucas Lucasfilms a uh, title from 1977 and they have the star wars title for all music playing that's so great <laughs> like they're, they're really playing up the nostalgia in that episode well, yeah are you, they like they more than rise the... of skywalker does <laughs> well yeah because there's like how many people were well it's all fully animated and this series have been like they actually finished the series and like uh, storyboarding and like rough animations like a yeah few they years did, like, ago they released they released the rough animation. I really yeah, I, wish I really wish the new season wasn't just 12 episodes though. I really wanted to see the whole arc uh, with Boba Fett and Cad Bane because Cad Bane No, he's Cad Bane like, was fucking he was a badass. He well he also his his arc is so incomplete. He's like he's this unstoppable Fuck. force. There's number 4 <laughs> and he's this unstoppable force and then he just like completely disappears from the existence of Star Wars. Yeah, like, I know. No closure. Unless they bring him back for the Mandalorian, which they probably will, because that's being made by Dave Filoni. So. Yeah, I hope they do because he's a he's a great character. Yeah. But yeah. Going back to Twilight yeah, yeah. though, uh, no, I'm not <laughs> oh, watching no. that. First of all, vampires don't sparkle. All right, that offends me. I don't see <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula, and I'm like, ooh, look at him shine. You know, it's like that doesn't make any sense to me. It has like the most amazing soundtrack. It's a bad plot line. It's not great acting, and like the cinematography is like above average. But also, they change directors every single movie. Oh, so and, there's like, no consistent again, vision. The, they gotta it's, keep, like barely consistent. They gotta keep it random, keep it wacky. Yeah. But I mean, they have it's, Robert Patterson or Pattinson. Robert Pattinson's actually yeah. a good actor. A lot of people. I know. Don't give him enough credit. They're always like, "Oh, it's the Twilight guy," well, but he's, he's actually gonna be, a damn good actor. Yeah, I mean, he he was in the Lighthouse and he got a gig on the Lighthouse, new Batman. Maybe. Oh, no. Lighthouse two. Lighthouse two. Electric Lighthouse, Boogaloo. Lighthouse negative two. I give it negative two out of ten. You don't like the Lighthouse? Oh yeah, I remember. Lighthouse. I was I talking once and you didn't lighthouse. like the Lighthouse. Okay, let's talk about this. We're gonna let's have to talk about. about <laughs> okay, wait, Andrew, did you see the Lighthouse? No, I have not. Damn it. Okay, yeah, Andrew, so leave sorry. this call for the next five to ten minutes. Gonna, <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I don't want to... five to ten. I don't want to spoil the yeah, lighthouse. five to ten minutes, then you get the whole story in, like, the first five to ten minutes. Well, it's... Because it's, it's nonsense. A, it's a complex narrative, you know? It's like... There's a lot of depth to the film. And it's very, into like, interlaced with, like, uh, folklore and sailor tales. From, like, the... I mean, I believe it, but I also have, like, um, a soft spot in, like, a bad way. Like, when a baby has a soft spot for, like, pretentious films. Like, I just feel like I'm going to die if I, if I see something that's, like, you don't get it because you don't understand. Oh, you like, think it's pretentious. Oh. Irish religion and, like, Ukrainian beliefs. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> Like, I bet it's great if you understand all those things, yeah. but, like, no, like, I also enjoy escapism. <laughs> escapism. No, Lighthouse, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, my favorite part is when they go crazy. And also the, why crazy? you spill your beans? <laughs> why did you spill your beans? Boy. I like how we quote that in front of Andrew every time, and he's like, every time he's just like, what are you guys I, talking about? Yeah, why did no you idea. spill your same beans? With the, same with the Sonic movie. <laughs> the Sonic gotta go fast, man. Wait, did Andrew, he say that? Well, 
He did say gotta go fast. Oh, okay, good. I just, yeah, I fuck can't the lighthouse. Remember. We're gonna talk about the Sonic movie again. All right, Sonic Actually, movie. we've been. <gasps> yes, I've seen the Sonic movie. It was amazing. Oh, you saw it? Okay, we can actually talk about this yes. then. Well, Andrew didn't. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, I like how we keep talking about movies to talk about, and Andrew's just like. Andrew, quick up! <laughs> one, two, three movies now. Go to one, two, three Wait, movies yeah, and watch the Sonic movie right now. <laughs> okay, can I just say? Okay. We've been actually been talking about the Sonic movie like for the past three episodes, and we haven't even like actually sat down and we're like, you know what? Let's just thoroughly dissect the son of a bitch. So let's actually right. dissect the Sonic movie it, critically. So <laughs> well, I will started. say I liked yeah, I liked the movie, but I feel like there was something missing from it. Like I feel like there was supposed to originally be like a scene because it feels like they were building up since the beginning. There was like that um there was that major that was like being disrespected by uh, Robotnik. Yeah, and I felt like he was gonna get his revenge, maybe with like Agent Stone, and been like, "You're you want to capture, you two, wanna capture fuck it. one, ah, <sighs> go, let's keep going." Wait, what was it? What was the countdown for? I thought, <laughs> I thought the the laundry thing was gonna go off. Oh, you were a little well, off. Were, oh, happen. were you were you keeping track? Wait, you were keeping track of like <laughs> the time track. between two of them. Alex oh, that is amazing! That. No, Ab- you were like Andrew, did you actually hear off. it? It went off. Wait, early? Yeah, you were two seconds oh, shoot. off. Okay, you were right. early. Yeah, I'll conserve. Andrew that. was keeping <laughs> track the whole time. <laughs> oh God, this is. A... I'll change my equation around. Oh my God, Andrew. They're learning. Me. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I feel like there was supposed to be a scene where like. They were like, oh, fuck you, Eggman. You want to <laughs> capture the hedgehog so you can rule the world. And then he's like, yeah, fuck you. You know what? I'm going to go catch him at San Francisco right now or wherever that building was. I don't know. It just feels like it there was, was a San scene Fran- missing. I don't know. Yeah. But again, we're not the oh. demographic for the film. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, I mean we're it's just... a solid video game movie. No, I think they definitely broke a part of the curse in video game movies. They actually made something... Mm-hmm. That's actually enjoyable. I mean, at mm-hmm. least they didn't have him dabbing, but they made him floss, so that's minus the they point They did make there. him floss. I was into that. Come on. <laughs> that was amazing. They should have made him renegade. That was that was an amazing thing. What we did, actually, was uh, Alex and I both made bingo boards of things that would happen, that like predictions of what would happen in the movie, and yeah. I put yeah, Sonic as the floss. We both put Sonic does the flaws. But actually, Alex basically just took my board and just replaced, like, a few objects. Well, I replaced of... it and I shuffled it around. You replaced it and then you shuffled it around. And then I think what you did was you saw some slight spoilers on the internet and you put it in some of the spaces. Yeah. Like, there's no way you would have predicted that Knuckles' tribe appeared. So you were like, I'm going to put that there. Yeah, no, I heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. I fucking called <laughs> I it. But I but I saw the concept art first. Like I saw it on Twitter, and then the people showed concept art. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess they're in the movie. No, that's for, uh, okay. So it just kind of, it was kind of an accident. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I should have put um, I think what what did I put for free space? I think it was like the Green Hill theme would play because we Hill. all kind of knew <laughs> that that was gonna happen. I think I should have put product placement. Oh, you should have. It was so obvious that that was happening. What product placement was there? I forgot. Man, let me tell you guys, when I think of Sonic the Hedgehog, I think of Olive Garden, am I right? <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my God, that was right. Yeah, here's an Olive Garden gift card. 50 bucks. Unlimited breadsticks. Okay, that was am actually right? a funny joke, though. I was like, oh, sorry oh, for cute. sorry for treating you like terrorists. Here's a gift card to Olive Garden. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what the government would do. Yeah. Oh, shit. Politics, son. Rock the oh, vote. My. So right. anyway, I actually do like Olive Garden, to be honest. I haven't been there in a while, though. Yeah, same. But Better than Chipotle? Excuse me. Ooh. That's controversial. And you got this is, a contro- is this a hot take? Wait, do you not like oh, Chipotle? Oh, it was a question. No, no, no. It was a question. It was a question. Oh, because of my thing. Oh, no. Yeah. It's not better than Chipotle at all. Chipotle's great. Been going there since I was eight. <laughs> well, it only took us four episodes, guys, but we finally did it. Oh. Quoted one of our songs. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> well, I'm thinking because Emily, you brought up an earlier question. I think, or like earlier, you brought up like something about someone playing you in a movie. I actually did have a conversation idea, which was who would play you and your friends in a movie about your life. So, do you guys want to maybe go through that? Okay. Because I was thinking, of course, I would pick Ryan Gosling to play Andrew. <clears throat> 
To be you? But or, oh, to be Andrew. Okay. No, Andrew. Andrew, of course. Yeah, I'd be all right with that. Um, I would want to be played by Freddie Prince Jr. I don't know about you guys. I have to look up these people. Yeah, I don't know who that is. How do you is. not know Freddie Prince Jr. is, man? He's Freddie Fred Prince in, uh, Jr.? No, he plays uh, Fred in the uh, Scooby-Doo movies. Okay. You want Freddie Among Prince Jr.? He doesn't even look like you. Yeah, but I just I just want him, you know? I'm, all right, fine. I mean, it's all your right, choice. Okay. Well, okay, well, who do you think would be perfect to play me? Jim Carrey. Oh, Jim yeah. Carrey. Oh, Burnham. Because we were on the subject of the Sonic movie, and you were just like, Jim Carrey. Three. hundred percent. Two. <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, there it yes! is! Oh! You're one second off. That's Holy sick. shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Oh, God. I got to turn my audio down on my end, but that was amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. That was six, by the way, Alex. I know. It's number six. Someone's oh, keeping track. Jesus. All right. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. Who do you... Okay, serious question. Who do you think would play me in a movie? Okay, well, I got to... Let me look up some well-known actors. Okay. I have to think about who would play Alex. Yeah, who would play me? That's what I want. I need to see some images. I need to. You know, I think. I think so. Well, I mean, if we had control over the time period of which we filmed this, I would say. <sighs> I would say the 18th century actor. No. <laughs> William I Shakespeare. Can't, I can't think of anyone. Will I am. Shaka Pierre. Shaka uh, You know what? Pierre. I would actually want. Okay, to play me, I would have Malcolm McDowell in his prime. When he was in... Sorry, you're going to say Malcolm X. No, yeah, I'm going to have Malcolm X. I was like, where is Brian's brain right now? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know who would play Alex, though. I would want the... I would want the... Nah, you gotta... I, wouldn't want, I wouldn't want the original deal. I would want that. <laughs> there's just, like, these two, like, young actors, and then it's just me and then there's old just in you. a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm playing myself, Sonny. <laughs> ah. Okay, cool. Hi, Alex's mom. Yep, Say that's hi my to your mom, mom everyone. Wait, can you tell your mom I said hi? I haven't seen her in like a month. Oh, sure. Ma! Damn. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, she's gone. <laughs> Damn. Nah, she's working from home, so it's good. That's the worst thing about other people's parents, is that they're so cool, but it's like, you can't just go over to someone's house and hang out with them. <laughs> This is such yeah, a weird that, thing to talk that about. That would be so <laughs> awkward. Your friend's just like sitting yeah. on the couch, just waked up. I can't, like, oh, I can't just go over to Mr. and Mrs. Rapace and be like, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weird. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we got to keep our mind occupied somehow. <sighs> you're right, you're right, you're right. I mean, I just, I mean my family uh, gave me a haircut, but it wasn't short enough, so I feel like I have to get another haircut again. <laughs> Uh, and I'm, well, I'm what? what? No, go yeah, ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, I'm three, two. Oh, uh, you're too oh, you, you happened. missed it. You missed it. Sorry. Too fast. That was seven. You were close though. Like three seconds off. Three seconds off. Go back quickly. What's the What's the time? Like, like how far know. apart are they? I think Andrew? it's a spin That's... cycle. <laughs> so. I think they're um inconsistent. What? No, Andrew. What are you timing for? Like how long? Uh, five minutes. But it's five pretty minutes. inconsistent. Oh, okay. You're just checking back every five minutes. Okay. okay. That's Sorry, smart. what were we talking about? Uh, Shaving my head. Right, 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 right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did you do that already? No, not yet. But my hair is getting really long. And it's it's really annoying me. I hate yeah, this thing. vibe of everyone's like, I'm going to shave my head. Oh, uh, yeah. I've done it before. I'm prepared to do it again. I don't know. I, I'm used to having long hair. Yeah, no, you're I fine. Don't... I cannot do long hair. And obviously, I'll just get a haircut when the quarantine is over. It's not a big yeah. deal. Well, yeah, but there's going to be, like, lines of people in front of the barbershops when this whole thing's over. Uh, yeah, yeah, still, you know. I mean, they're going to make hella bank, but I'm not going to be able to get in for, like, a week or two. Nah. So, yeah, yeah you should shave your head. No, just kidding. You got any more questions, Brian? No, I ran out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really? You're kidding no, me? No, 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 no. We're just, we're, well, no. I mean, we're just hanging out. 
Yeah, well, we hit a dead end. No, you do have questions? Oh. That's the premise of the show, is that we're thinking of stuff to talk about. I know. Question and answer time. Woo! Question oh and my answer God. time. Check the comments. Comments of the old episode. Check the comments. Here we go. Oh, I gotta... actually, guys, guys, we don't actually have any comments. Wait, what? Nobody watches me? this show. No, just kidding. I'm looking up your channel right now, Brian. Give me one second. Man. Yeah, just look at some recent comments. Da, da, da. I will say this is a no pretty comments. nice uh this okay. is a pretty nice crossover episode because I have my friends Andrew and oh, Alex, there's one who comment. Are both my friends in high school. What comment are you looking at? There's it's not showing, but it says there's one comment on the first one. What, oh on one true podcast? <laughs> what <laughs> said uh fuck your podcast. Wait, what? <laughs> On the first episode. I think I saw that. What? I think I remember. (laughs) What? Yeah. (laughs) What? She's. Oh my. What? (laughs) All right. Well, hold on one second. Damn, Brian. This is a family show. What was it? The first episode? Yeah. Of the One True Podcast? Yep. It says there's one comment, (laughs) but it doesn't show up, so you have to do news. Oh, well, at at least you didn't dislike it. I can't. It won't even show up on mine. <laughs> well, no, you have to do. You have to sort it to newest. Okay, I'll just check it later. Sh- I- Don't do it. Your YouTube is censoring you, so you're feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't go against. Pretty it. Pretty much. The most comments that I actually have are, <laughs> why? Why is my lightsaber tier list video one of my most viewed videos? <laughs> like I did that as like a t- small joke, oh, yeah, and then it's like. Yeah, well, I the most seen that. the most liked comment on that is "Grow out your hair and you'll look like Arthur Fleck." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do that video, Brian. Ah oh, man, what we're the gonna... Mr. Freeze parody? No, just you and the Joker outfit. Oh, I do, I do want it. Well, I can talk about the idea here, but originally when we all saw Joker, we were like, "Hey, why don't we do a a Mr. Freeze parody?" We're like. It's like the Joker trailer, but it's like Mr. Freeze, like just from Batman and Robin, where he's like, I used to think that my life was uh, lukewarm, but now I realize <laughs> it's chill. <laughs> and it's just, and it's just, it's Ice just, to meet you. Ice to meet you. I'm not it's your father. A... <laughs> my wife yeah. is frozen. Three, Ooh. two, one. No, what? you're. It's not even. Nope. What is it? Wait, it did. It, is the machine over? Is no, like, it, I can hear it still going. Oh, oh, okay. This is very disappointing. Well, I guess <laughs> it's not five minutes. Whoops. Rip. Well, at least it's finally over. <laughs> no. How's school for all y'all? Hmm? Uh, Dealing with the um, online the classes. Today. What? <laughs> Brian. No, I didn't. No, I didn't fail it. I did okay. Disappointed. No, I took a chem test today. Oh, it's chem. Why are you taking chem? Because I don't... I don't know, actually. Why didn't you take, like, astronomy? <laughs> because all yeah, those... Yeah, I would have taken that. All those spots were taken for the astronomy class. And well, then there was another wait one, next year. But, well, there was another one. I don't know, man. Who cares? I don't care what the credit <laughs> is. I just got to get it done. Yeah, you have four years to get it done. Some of us have more... Well, also, I don't know, because I saw another one, like, another astronomy, like, class, and I was like, oh, I'll take this, but it was, like, during one of my, like, major classes, and I'm like, nah, I don't really care, I'll just take chemistry, I guess. Yeah. Well, in that case, I would just hold off on your science, then. That's why I did my sciences my uh, first semester, and now I never have to do a science again. That's true, that's, that's true. My best, Wait, you that's... just did all the science classes at once? Yeah, I took uh, an astronomy. Oh, so I would go uh, mad. I took well, no, it was really easy. I took an astronomy lab, which was just like looking up in the sky and doing like labs every week, and then I did an astronomy class, and that was just studying the solar system. So it was really easy. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, Emily, I was going to ask you this, but I I don't know if I did or not. But how are you doing your classes right now? Am I allowed to say what your classes are on this po- um, podcast? I think it's I I mean. Yeah, I'm cool with being recognized as a dance major. I'm not going nowhere. Okay. Um, oh, think positive. It's, it's cool. It's like the only reason. What? Think positive. <laughs> We're going to go somewhere. 
how do you go about doing the classes now that you're online and stuff like that? Well, um, like, some teachers are kind of older, and that's, like, obviously that's no fault on them that they're older people and they don't understand technology, but, like, mm -hmm. the ones that don't really understand technology will just send, like, videos to us or, like, links to videos for us so that we can, like, use that as, um, like, stretching or whatnot. And then, like, the teachers that do know what they're doing, they'll, like, do a Zoom class where we have to, like, watch them and just, like, treat it like a normal dance mm. class. Mm. But, yeah, other than that, like, it's just, like, regular classes. Okay, that's I was going to ask what your guys' majors were, but, like, I didn't know if that was too far. <laughs> well, I mean, if anybody, I if anybody cares, I'm film. I, I don't know what I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm engineering right now. But I don't know if I should switch to music or something like that. Smart. I mean, you know, do what you want. Do what makes you happy. All right. I no offense, no offense to you two film people, but I wasted a year doing film, and it was a good year. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna <laughs> say about film. No, I know you can talk about it. No, you just need to find something that sort of clicks with you. All right. But you gotta look at it from. I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you might as well enjoy it. Yeah, and that's, granted, I'd rather enjoy it. Granted, there have been multiple times where I'm like, uh, now that this is actually a profession, I don't know. This doesn't really seem fun anymore. Always look up. Like, would I want to work with someone like blank? Yeah. <laughs> Insert person you don't like here. Oh, you want me to call out certain people? I said, would you be willing to work? No, don't call oh out people. God. Oh, I can. All right, I got a whole list. No. no oh, shit. He's bringing out the list. It's the B list. But, you know, just do what you want because a pirate is free. Oh, my God. Speaking of Lazy Town. So, what you guys the? What? <laughs> hold on what a second. Is this transition? Okay. No, hold on. I was, just, I was just saying the lyrics to a Lazy Town song, but I just thought of something related to Lazy Town. Did you know that the actress who plays, I think the pink haired girl from lazy town stephanie i think her name is she yeah. actually did a stephanie, tiktok yeah. where she like sang along to that uh yes. cooking by the book but like yeah. uh the okay, the explicit the one <laughs> Break it, <jab> it. <laughs> oh I yeah that, that one that dude was that so... was a great remix yeah that was good. amazing <laughs> that was good but she was singing along to that and i'm like dude i love Hell tiktok yeah. I've never had TikTok. No, I, 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 I have nothing against TikTok. TikTok. <gasps> Download it right now. Download it right uh, now. No. I'm pounding my computer. You can't hear it. We actually know someone who was TikTok famous for a bit. Yeah. Jack Pallison. He became TikTok famous for like a little bit. Yeah, my brother yeah. did. Wait, your brother did? did? <laughs> yeah, but he, yeah, but then he uh, deleted his account like a week later. Oh, uh, wait, why? Was uh, he getting like too much attention? No, he just didn't care. Oh, okay. He just let well, it just no, well, do its I, thing and then forgot. Well, now I love your brother, all right? Man, he doesn't let fame get to... He doesn't let fame cloud his judgment. That will see He's not one future. of those... He's not like one of those uh, TikTok stars those... that create their own shows with, like, the people that... I think it was Musical.ly. <laughs> well, do you... Uh, which, like, wasn't do it... you want to... Go... You continue. Go ahead. I'm not trying to explain. Wasn't it, like... Wasn't it like musically stars that like had their own shows or whatever? Did you... I don't know. I don't know what you mean yeah. by like what shows. Yeah, I'm not like, sure. I, like, can you name a show? Wait, weren't there like kids like on like what was it before TikTok? It was like musically or something. There was and TikTok. Like, they got no, their own TikTok. like TV shows because they were popular. Like one of them, like one of the shows was like called like I don't think they had TV the Chicken shows. Girls or whatever. Or am I crazy? You're crazy. No, no the Chicken Girls was crazy? a YouTube show. That was crazy once. Oh, they put, put me in a me. room. That was a YouTube show. Room. Did I make you watch that? No, you told me about that, but wasn't it like they were originally just like Musically stars or whatever? Yeah, they got all their actors from uh, Musically. Right. And it's such a bad show, and I watched it because I was like, I don't know, I was just like drawn in by the gross, cringe writing <laughs> and acting. Well, yeah, it just, yeah, it's like, oh, these people are famous, but do they have any talent whatsoever? No, but we nope. can just make a show out of them. Exactly. But it was a YouTube show. Anyone can make a YouTube show. Yeah, I, yeah, that that is true. The good thing about YouTube is definitely, like, anybody can, like, be famous or whatever. But the thing is that, like, 
as a result, you kind of see what he's like the nobody's like perfect or whatever, and it's just like every, he like see through the I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's no filters like a. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're just going crazy, Brian. Why? Oh, whatever. All right. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this episode of the One True Podcast. Uh, we're gonna end the episode now because. Uh, I don't know. Everybody else thinks I'm crazy, so I don't know. It's just fucking accurate. Crazy. I was crazy, crazy once. They put me in crazy. a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with filled with rats. Rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They put me in a room. A rubber room. Rubber room filled with rats. Rats make me crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy? I was a crazy once. They put me in a room. A rubber room. Rubber room filled with rats. Rats make me crazy. Okay, bye everybody.